Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 27, Homework. Number 1, use the RDW process to solve the word problems below. So remember, RDW means read, draw, write. So first we're going to read the problem, draw a picture, and then we're going to write our answer. So there are 36 students in Mr. Meyer's class. Of those students, 5 twelfths played tag at recess, 1 third played kickball, and the rest played basketball. How many students in Mr. Meyer's class played basketball? So let's draw a tape diagram to represent the whole class. So this is the whole class, which is 36 students. So this is all 36 students. 5 twelfths played tag at recess, so that's a little bit less than half. So we're going to say 5 twelfths played tag. One third played kickball. Kickball. And the rest played basketball. So the rest, we don't know how much, but they played basketball. How many students in Mr. Meyer's class played basketball? So first we need to figure out how many played tag and how many played kickball because that's the information that we're given. Let's find 5 twelfths of 36. So 5 twelfths of 36, and remember of means time, so we can do 5 twelfths times 36. Now I'm going to reduce up front to make it a little bit easier because I see 12 and 36 have a common factor of 12, so I'm going to divide both of those by 12. 36 divided by 12 makes this 3, and 12 divided by 3 makes this 1, or 12 divided by 12 makes that 1. So it turns into 5 over 1 times 3 over 1. Now if you multiplied 5 times 36 and 12 times 1 and then divide it at the end, you'll get this same answer. This is just a shortcut way of doing it. So that is equal to 15 over 1 or 15 students played tag. I'll use a new color for kickball. So 1 third of 36 or 1 third times 36. Again, I'm going to reduce because I can do 36 divided by 3 and get 12. And I can do 3 divided by 3 and get 1, which changes my problem to 1 times 12. This is a whole lot easier problem. So we get 12 students played kickball. So now we just need to figure out how many played basketball. So 15 played tag and 12 played kickball. That's a total of 15 plus 12 is 27. There were 36 total students. So to figure out how many are left to play basketball, we just need to do 36 minus 27. And we'll get nine students played basketball. B. Julie bought, brought 24 apples to school to share with her classmates. Of those apples, two-thirds are red and the rest are green. Julie's classmates ate three-fourths of the red apples and one-half of the green apples. How many apples are left? So let's draw a picture. So she brought 24 apples. To school to share with her classmates. Of those apples, two-thirds are red and the rest are green. So that means two-thirds are red and the rest are green. So let's start there. We know we need to figure out for the red ones two-thirds of 24 or two-thirds times 24 um, I see we can do 24 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3, which will make this 2 over 1 times 8 over 1, and we'll get 16. So there are 16 red apples, and let's do green, uh, so 1 third of 24, 1 third times... 
24. Again, I can reduce, but I'm just going to leave it like this because I know that 24 divided by 3 is 8. So there are 8 green. But we're not done yet. So Julie's classmates ate 3 fourths of the red apple. So then of this 16, they ate 3 fourths of them. So we need to do 16 times 3 fourths. I'm going to reduce. So 16, I can do divided by 4 and 4 divided by 4, which turns this into, oh, this should be a 3. So there were 12 red apples. And one half of the green apples. So one half of eight, maybe you just already know one half of eight is four. So this is a lot to remember in your mind here. Um, so let's go back to the problem and remember what we were doing. So Julie's classmates ate three-fourths of the red apples, meaning that they ate 12 of those, and half of the green apples, meaning eight of those. We want to know how many are left. So we started out with 16 red apples. They ate 12, meaning there were four red and they started out with eight green apples and there were four left. So that means there were four green left over. So then total, the four red plus the four green means that there were eight apples left. And that is our final answer. Number two, write and solve a word problem for each expression in the chart below. So we have 144 times 7 twelfths. 144 is a pretty big number, so we have to think of something that you would use, maybe have a lot of, like a large collection of something. And when I think of collections, I think of uh, maybe baseball cards. So I'm going to start with, um, let's say, Tom has 144 baseball cards. And we need to do something with the 7 twelfths. So we need to multiply it by 7 twelfths somehow. So let's pick a team. Um, my favorite team is the Milwaukee Brewers. So let's say that 7 twelfths of those cards are players from the Milwaukee Brewers. How many Brewers cards does he have? Okay, so now we need to solve it. 144 times 7 twelfths. So we could reduce or we can just go ahead and multiply. Um, in this case, why don't we just go ahead and multiply? So 144 times 7. We get 1,008 over 1 times 12 is 12, and we just need to divide. So 12 can't go into 1 or 10, but it could go into 100. 12 times 8. 8 is 96. Bring down the 8. 12 can go into 48 four times. So our answer is 84 cards. The next one 
we have a few more numbers, so we're going to need to think of different variables to use for those numbers. Uh, when I see four ninths and one third, it makes me think of baking. So I'm going to think of something that has to do with um, cooking, uh, maybe some flour, because nine nine's a pretty large number for cooking. So I'm going to say um, Sarah needs nine cups of flour. To make enough, let's say, bread. For her family party. She found, so we need to do something with these two now. She found four ninths cup in one bag. And her mom found one third a cup in another bag. How much more flour does Sarah need? Okay, so let's start with what's in the parentheses. Let's do four ninths plus one third. And we need to find a common denominator. So nine will work, so let's leave four ninths plus one third as ninths will be three ninths. So we get seven ninths. Now we need to do nine minus seven ninths. And when we do that, we will end up with eight and two ninths. All right, last one. Let's see, I'm gonna think of cookies since I'm on a food, food theme. So let's say that, let's do something with these two. Maybe it's a uh, bake sale. So let's say Jack made 36 cookies for a bake sale. And who else? Someone else needs to make 12. So let's say Jill made 12 cookies. Now we need to do something with the 3 fourths. So we need to do 3 fourths times that, 3 fourths of. So let's say their friend Jane made three-fourths the amount of Jack and Jill combined. Or you could say three-fourths the sum of Jack and Jill. How many cookies did Jane make? Okay, so we're going to start with 36 plus 12. We get 48. So now we just need to do 3 fourths times 48. We can reduce by doing 48 divided by 4 is 12. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. So if I rewrite that as 3 over 1 times 12 over 1, we get... 36 cookies. So really, could have just said Jane made the same amount of cookies as Jack. 